and a neighborhood dog. And the dog's balls. There was an old woman in Woodbridge, there was. So proper and tidy and all of them things. She would wander all day with her duster in hand. She was one of those women who cleaned where they stand. And while she is at it, she sings, boys. And while she is at it, she sings. Now there's no doubt about it, her house was a show. With everything proper and stowed in its place. And that's why her dustbins had a shed of their own. Like a mirror, each one of those pins that had grown. You could read every line in your face, boys. You could read every line in your face. Now there's nothing the matter with tidiness, no. No matter with keeping your house up to scratch. But these bins were located one side of a yard. Where a Doberman pincer was prowling on guard. Train to kill if you lifted the latch, boys. Train to kill if you lifted the latch. Now this Doberman pincer would play in the yard. And a couple of old tennis balls was his game. In his make-believe world, it's himself that he saw as the world's only dog with a bionic jaw. And that's when the garbage men came, boys. And that's when the garbage men came. Now fate took a hand on this coldest of days for his wife. She had asked him to wear a warm coat and to knot up the muffler to keep out the chill. And for once in his life, he had bent to her will. So the dog couldn't get at his throat, boys. So the dog couldn't get at his throat. Now when the woman above them was drawn to the noise, it's down from a high chamber window she calls to the dustman engaged in a struggle for life. In a middle class town, you could cut with a knife. She loudly exclaims, kick his balls, boys. She loudly exclaims, kick his balls. Now the dustman could scarcely believe the command, but he didn't have time to request it again. So ignoring distinctions of language and class, he unleashed a size 10 at the Doberman's ass. And its eyes missed it over with pain, boys. And its eyes missed it over with pain. Now imagine the silence that followed that blow. Woof. With the command ringing on in the poor dustman's ears. And as the poor doggy lay writhing around, you could see his two tennis balls there on the ground. And her meaning was rendered quite clear, boys. And her meaning was rendered quite clear. Now I need to explain that this dog was at stud. So the dustman was sued for the fees that he cost. He was lucky at all to escape with his wife, life. He went home with a kiss for his poor startled wife. Who harangued him for what it might cost, boys? Who harangued him for what it might cost? Now, if there's a moral to be gained from this song, it's that innocent language might sometimes sound crude. And as in the case of our garbage men, mate, your linguistic enlightenment may arrive late, and you could end up getting screwed, boys. And you could end up getting screwed.